Hello, and welcome to the Disney Dunces! Using your touch tone keypad, please enter the first three letters of the movie title you would like to see. You've selected... Tarzan! If this is correct, please press 1 now. Hello and welcome to Disney Dunces, the only Disney podcast presented by self-acclaimed non-experts. I'm Dunce number one, but you can just call me Richard. And I'm Craig Stu, and I'm Dunce number two. What happened? He's not talking? He says that's his intro? We heard him laugh. He's doing this on purpose. Sorry, it's just... This movie starts with like eight minutes and twelve seconds of silence. I thought maybe we could do the same and it might work out. No! Be- well, okay. So the way that I usually do this is until you say, like, and I'm the third one, blah, 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 you do your punchline, and then okay. that's when, like, as you're saying your punchline, that's when I do the fade out on the music. So it works perfect, because, like, the music will just be playing in the silence. Okay, so we did it. Yeah, basically. I mean, I still don't yeah. think that was a funny joke, but, <laughs> I don't know. think that was very good either. I'm trying to make art here. I'm sorry. Did you watch Tarzan? And the first 18 minutes, you started just yucking it up? Oh, how hilarious is this? No, but I was crying pretty much instantaneously. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, uh, people get shipwrecked with their baby. They make the best of it. And they get murdered by cheetahs. And then also a baby monkey dies. I'm sorry. Wait, a baby gorilla that's how they dies. died? Yeah, bud. Oh, my God. It's like he didn't watch the film because he did it. <laughs> It's hard enough for him to pay attention when people are talking on screen. Imagine if they just stayed silent for the first 20 minutes of a film. He's, <laughs> like just, I watched, he's just playing WoW even harder. I watched the movie, but like they didn't make things clear at all during the movie. They make it very clear. They, abundantly clear. Not only do they make it clear by showing you, one of the gorillas literally says, Oh, the cheetah killed his family. There's no more of them. I'm going to race him now. No. They spell it out for you. They didn't even say that. <laughs> they did. When the mommy gorilla brings him back and the daddy's all like, Oh, right, what are you doing? He's, there's more of them. They're going to come kill us all. She's like, no, there's no more. They all died. The, the big cat got him. Just like the big cat got her baby. He's my baby now. Okay, well, let's go through the movie, and I'll ask you a bunch of questions. Yeah, what else is new? Okay. Let's <laughs> just, dive on in. Just watch one of the movies once in a while. This one especially. It's such a good movie. Pretty good. Okay, well, the king and queen of Farendale are escaping a burning boat with their baby. It's Arendelle. Oh, okay. We're gonna We're going to hop on that fan theory, though, okay? You don't have to explain it, bud. Come on. Okay. We're all Disney so, experts here. Wait, I do have to explain it or don't have to? You don't. Why would you have to explain it? We I all know, know the if- fan theories. We're all out there, bud. We're all on the internet. We all have access to it. And if you don't have access to it, how are you listening to this podcast? I didn't know if I had to explain it for the people, though. Because, no, you know, you said, like, we're say? all experts. What did I just say? We're, we we're as all experts. The world. Oh, okay. Gotcha. You think this is a contained thing? This is a widely accepted fact at this point. That's true. That's true. Like, yes. everyone knows it now. So, yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, okay. no need to explain it. So, okay. So, King and Queen, they're leaving their burning ship, and they get shipwrecked on an island. And this is where we have Phil Collins throughout the entire ordeal just singing two worlds, one family. You think he'd lift a finger to help him? He's got the money. I mean, he does have the money, but that's okay. He'd rather, he'd a, rather just sing. It's a good <laughs> song. It, it is a really good song, but it's also exploitative. Just lift a finger, Phil. <laughs> well, <laughs> doesn't he have that one song about yeah, how he just Calling to the, the Night or whatever? It's the yeah. same thing. A guy's getting mugged. I know what you did. I'm not going to do anything about it, though. Whatever. Wait, what song? <laughs> whatever the one where he, it's, it's just Phil Collins in a dark room playing his drums, yelling at a wall. That's in what the it air sounds tonight. like, anyway. In the uh, air, that's what it is. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> and this guy does not like to help people. He likes to watch and he likes to sing about it. Wait, so I don't know, because the main reason why I know what that song is about, or at least thought yeah. that I knew what it was about, is because of that Eminem song when he talked about Phil Collins, uh, and I thought it was about drowning. Not mugged. Who cares? Either way, people are getting hurt or dead. He's, and he's not helping. About it. He's either letting yeah, them drown he's not... or he's letting them get mugged, regardless. Yeah. It doesn't really matter what it's technically about, but... Yeah, okay. Thanks, Phil. You're a horrible person. Well, I think I'd be in his shoes, too. Yo, you would just sit there and sing about it for money? Well, I don't know if I would sing about it, but I'd just kind of stand there. I'd be the innocent bystander. Not an innocent bystander. At that point, you are now responsible for these people. You let them die. You are no, You are charged. Th- there's no way I'd be an accomplice, Samar- It's a Samaritan Act. Look it up. That's a f- made-up Seinfeld Look thing. Look it up. Look it up. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. I believe the, the in Seinfeld, they they not only watched it happen, they all made fun of it and videotaped it happen. Yeah, but it's like Phil Collins and Richard here. <laughs> no, 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 no. No prison for us. We're going to be yeah, fine. Yeah, you guys are in good company. No prison for him. He's got the money. He exploited all these tragedies. <laughs> well. You're not there yet. I mean, I'm sure like. Okay, so I'm sure if it was me and him, like, you know, being Sally's before he pays his bail or something. Okay. Like, you know, like, we'd have enough of a relationship and be like, I don't think you know how celebrity stardom works. You think they're going to lay a finger on him? I mean, maybe they didn't recognize him gonna, They're going to, they're going to pull, yeah, they're going to pull up the cuffs. He's going to go, I can't dance. And they're just going to back away. And I'm sorry, sir. (laughs) And then what will they do like with immediately. me? Like, immediately. What are they going to do with you? They're going to throw you in the back of the squad car without a second thought. Oh, no. I'm oh, sorry. They'll probably hit your head on the way in. Oh, shit. They do do yeah, that sometimes. They do do that. I'm just saying. That's... Oof. I don't... I think Craig would be in my shoes, too. I don't think he'd do a damn thing. Craig, would you not do a damn thing? If someone was getting mugged? Or eaten by a live by cheetahs, whatever. Or drowning, apparently. <laughs> the drowning one, I probably could help out the cheetah i don't know what i would do i would probably just cower in fear here yeah, kitty 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 pss, pss, pss. that's what i do wait 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 this is where i have questions yeah because you keep saying it's the cheetah that kills the parents but in the tree house there was yeah. there was like a gun on the floor and bullets just scattered along with oh blood. my god who do you think they got uh, some who, some <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the dad decided it's time for us to die let's leave it was the domestic baby. violence <laughs> what do you think happened <laughs> It was a break-in. I wasn't it said the other jungle folk. <laughs> like, and, they, and they're so messy. After they killed the parents, they just left their guns and bullets on the floor. And they left their pet cheetah inside, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, the cheetah came after. He's just, they're scavengers, Craig. They're looking for all the dead meat. <laughs> My bad. Like, like, you see the picture on the floor that's with the broken glass, and then you yeah. see the gun, and you're all like, oh, yeah. shit, this is dark. This yeah, breaking. Maybe, yeah. maybe. It, how, how about this? Oh, maybe they God. tried to defend themselves. Oh Wait, that's wow, insane. That's, that's crazy, insane, Craig. What oh are you talking man, about? that's so dumb. That's stupid. What Obviously, am I, an idiot? someone desirable's broken to the <laughs> jungle home. <laughs> Dude, like, okay. So I have a question. So what crime you- <laughs> is that? Like when you break in and you murder a bunch of people. Yeah. Uh, is it a crime? Yes. Should you think like, about it? No. Like, what do you get charged with? First degree murder? Breaking and entering? And a lot of things. And That's how multiple? crime works, bud. When you do multiple crimes at once, they try to get you for as many things as they possibly can, because you never know what's actually going to stick. Oh, I thought that they just choose one and hope for the best. <laughs> this is, no, it's not how it goes. But I don't know. Is this that, is, is that really jungle. your question? Whatever. Fine. Are you, are you asking me about jungle law? So wait, the cheetah used the gun? Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we can move on now. I still don't, like... I don't know why the gun was on the floor. How'd they even get a gun? They They probably brought, brought, brought the gun with them, yeah. They weren't shipwrecked with nothing. Okay. Remember they had a whole bunch of stuff that they built into the shack? Oh shit, you did see them building a treehouse. Yeah, mm-hmm. bud. The thing is, I mean, like, we did. I don't know what you saw. Probably, I don't know. He's, Craig, help me out here. He probably saw some. What, what I, he, I don't what know where. See? Where are probably you? Probably some menus. He's people in, skinning things. He was in Stranglethorn Vale, I think. Right. Okay. That sounds like it's a, a jungle, place. and you know it's oh, pretty appropriate. Okay, so at least appropriate. How many tree houses did you build in that jungle? None. 
Uh, maybe if you watched the movie, you'd know how to. Anyway, continue. Um, okay. Well, my notes say something about money. Yeah. And I don't know what... Wor- uh, wouldn't worry well, about that. It might be monkey. Yeah. Okay, yeah. hold on. Okay, so while Phil is thinking, while well, singing about whatever, we also see the monkey family. And this uh, gorillas, wasn't clear. They're apes, not monkeys. But this wasn't clear either what happens. Very clear what happens. Oh, a cheetah eats their baby. What are you they talking about? They show it happen. No, yes. they don't show that. They don't show the okay. visceral carnage of a cheetah tearing open a baby gorilla. No, but they show the cheetah countering the gorilla. I mean, ca- uh, cornering it. And then uh, uh, the scene later, you see some very sad gorillas. No, see- because like... You see the daddy gorilla covering up the mommy gorilla's eyes. That's literally what happens because the baby is being torn apart. Why didn't they help? They couldn't. It was uh, was over. They were too distracted by Phil Collins. They're just joining the Phil train here. He's got a great voice. Who could blame him? It's it's a train that pays, baby. It's what do you call a gravy train, I think. Well, I think that answers all my questions for this song. So... Yeah, I guess afterwards, the mommy gorilla, she has no baby gorilla anymore, and she just stumbles upon the treehouse. I don't know how. A uh, baby crying. She hears it. She runs after it. The human baby, right? Yes. Yeah, when you watch the movie, these things come together. Well, it kind of came together. Well, I only know she found <laughs> no, the treehouse. No, it didn't. <laughs> it did not even kind of come together. You had the pieces, and you just said, meh. Nah. <laughs> He just left them on the He's floor. He's just got big gaps everywhere. He just like, yeah. Well, they're not even gaps. They're still in a pile. Yeah. <laughs> he just put them there. He didn't line them up. He just said, eh, hey, got jobs are good. Well, This isn't know. my mess to clean. Actually, I have a question here. Is it a mm-hmm. cheetah or is it a leopard? Uh, It's probably a leopard. Yeah, it Who might cares? be a leopard. Yeah. Big jungle, big jungle cat. A big jungle, yeah. exactly. Yeah. All of you have been saying cheetah, and here I am yeah. actually knowing things. Meh. Cheetah sounds more fun. Well, I do like Chester. Yeah, see? But he's not in this movie, so we're going to go back to it. I, that you know of. I mean, Craig, do you ever Chester cheat in there? Uh, not, not particularly, no. Okay, okay. Then he's probably not in it, Richard. Continue. Okay. So, the mama gorilla finds the little baby boy, and she takes him. But the leopard, um, he's like, you're not taking that baby away from his home. But she does anyway. And I don't think the leopard said that. I think leopard was just hungry. Yeah, that's okay. He just wanted to eat. He wanted to eat that it's, baby. It's so unimportant. I didn't feel the need to even correct him on it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> got to pick. You got to pick your battles here, Craig. You're right. Yeah, we'll never get done. We'll never get done if we had to correct every single inconsistency he has. Yeah, because I got the, things to do today. Yeah, me too. So the mama gorilla, she goes back home. And she brings the baby, and she's all like, he's my son now. And that's where we're introduced to little baby Rosie O'Donnell. And... Turk. Yeah. The, is Turk a boy or a girl? I just a know. girl. A girl. Okay. They didn't make that clear. They oh. mentioned Missy at the points. Yeah, they did. <gasps> they use female pronouns to describe her. Oh, okay. And so... They didn't, like, have a scene where they... <laughs> Pull open her legs and show your genitals. I assume that's what you're looking for. Well, this is actually a good time to bring that up because I've been thinking about this a lot lately. And gorilla genitals? No, 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 no. Just basically the anatomy and also the social structure of gorillas. Yes. Well, I think their anatomy is pretty close. Yeah, I don't ours. think it's that much different. That's not my main question here. Oh, okay. I don't know why you thought that. You asked so, about anatomy. You did, you, did open, you did open with the anatomy thing, yes. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> speaking of anatomy. Okay. Um, so the gorillas, do they have one male and then 50 bajillion female? Or I don't know how the social system oh, works. Oh, you know then, what? I'm not entirely sure. I'm I not think. sure. I, mm, I don't know. Because uh, we only saw two, like one or two yeah. males. And then we saw a bunch of females. Yeah, it, mm, it might be like that. Yeah, because, like, yeah, and, no then, idea. and then I started thinking, like, what's that kind of like? Like, you know, what if you're the guy? 
I hate where this is going. Richard wants to own 50 women. That's what I'm No, doing. I don't. I just want I'm to know what it's like to pass. have. Pass. Gorillas. Pass. I'm going to pass on this one. Gorillas. Did you do some Googling? I did. All right, thank you. Uh, gorillas are non-territorial and live in groups called troops that generally consist of one to four adult males uh, called silverbacks. Some okay. juvenile males called blackbacks, several adult females. I want to know the females. Several adult females. Yeah, he goes getting there. Wait, it just says several? Well, you just... Yeah, it looks like there's there's a few men, but more women. Yes. Okay. To answer two, your question. Two girls for every guy kind of thing. Well, more like seven. <laughs> but doesn't matter. Okay. I don't well, like your weird thing that you're doing here. You can't own women, Richard. Just no! Get on with it. Just get I on wasn't, with it, bud. I wasn't thinking of that. Get on with I was it, think- bud. Get on with it, bud. Okay, fine. I don't. Um, this is not. This is not the the live your perverse fantasies show. This is the Disney dunces. Last I checked, dude. I'm talking about gorillas, not like You're me talking with gorillas. About, Boy, I sure wish I could have sexual intercourse with seven women every day. No, I can't talking, do a thing about it. It's weird. Let's I'm talking continue. about gorillas, not women. Uh, you were saying you wonder what it's like to be them. Craig, back me up. I'm sorry, I. I drifted from this one. I'm going to let Casca handle it. Thanks, pal. I really appreciate the, the trust. I was still looking at the gorilla uh, Wikipedia. No, I get that. They're very Anatomy? Mystifying. No, the Wikipedia page. Uh, for gorilla anatomy. Well, I was looking at the social structure. I was reading the, the, oh. the article or the information. Well, good. Keep that up. We're going to probably go back to it. Okay. It's a lot Fine. happening in this one, guys. So, okay. So we're introduced to Rosie O'Donnell. And she's super excited to have a little baby brother. But her dad isn't too happy with this. Um, he's like, no they're way, not Rose. brother and sister. Yes, they are. I no. guess they technically are, because if, if, if the troop is the same way. He's adopted. Okay. Adopted well, I, brother, I, sister. They don't, they don't like, treat it like that. No, they treat I him mean, like they, friends. They, they, they're, yeah, yeah they, they're friends. At, at closest they get the familial relationship here is that Rosie O'Donnell calls him cousin. But they're stepbrothers. I don't even think they're that. I think they're just gorillas. They're more like, like, I mean, yeah, they're, they're, but they're probably closer to cousins, I guess you could say, because they're probably, they're, they're almost, they're all kind of part of the same family, you know? That's like the yeah. idea. Their, their troop is their family. Yeah. And though they're not Blood. They're related. Yeah. Okay, we got there. Okay. So, I guess at this point, we get another song from Phil, You'll Be In My Heart. Well, I guess What's Her Face leads into it. Tarzan's mom. Well, Tarzan's gorilla mom. Just singing him lullabies, trying to get him to sleep. And then Phil comes in and makes him a boy. A.K.A. a time skip. Yeah. That's a good song, too, though. It's a great song. Uh, I'm trying to think of the songs I don't like in this movie, and it's the one that doesn't really feature Phil Collins, I guess. No, but Phil Collins, I think you worked on it. Well, we'll get there. Okay. Well, I'm sure he did. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he works on every song in the movie. <laughs> yeah, like Elton John. Uh, good old Elton. Yeah. There are parallels between this and Lion King, and also parallels between this and George of the Jungle. It also parallels between this and Let's Continue the Show. Okay. Uh, where do we go? So you'll be in my heart. Good song. Uh, yeah. nothing to say about that though. No. Greg, you got anything to say about that? I know your big Tarzan head over here. Oh, it's an incredible song, and I was crying. Oh, that's really, there you go. That's really what I wanted to hear. <laughs> <laughs> this, what cry alert number is this? That haven't stopped, two, right? Oh, he's been continuing. <laughs> yeah. There's like you just like the, bring a bucket with you the, whenever you just turn this one on. I mean. I should have. I don't blame you. I mean, I got emotional. I didn't cry, but it's... it's no, I... I, I it's this thing. gets me. I mean, I cry very... Like you said, I cry very yeah. easily. So something that's oh, yeah. as emotional as this and also has the nostalgia for me because this is a, a, one, a, a classic one that, that I love and I've seen, the, I've seen the Broadway version. I've seen... There's a version that they do in, in Disney World of Did this. you see the live action version of this? No. Okay. It came out like a few years ago, I think. I don't think it's actually Disney, though. No, but it's a live-action version of this. Well, yeah, there's a million live-action versions of this. <laughs> yeah, but it's not the Disney one. This is based off of a book. Mm. Tarzan has been around for a very long time. The, the character. I mean, yeah, I knew that, because Disney steals all their stories. Yeah. Yeah. 
so like it doesn't have to be like this is the Disney Tarzan. I don't think Disney made a live action Tarzan. I could be wrong. Did Disney make Snow White and the Huntsman's? No, I don't believe so. No. Okay, so that's just another thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, again, you just said it yourself. <laughs> They're not putting out original stories here. I'm just checking my facts. Uh, okay. Okay. So Tarzan's a boy now, okay? And this is where we're introduced to our first... Um, I have to choose my words carefully here. Racial conflict? <clears throat> sure, why not? I Because Tarzan, he's getting discriminated against uh, by... Yeah, we call racial or species. Species, yeah. Yeah. Interracial species conflict? Interspecies conflict. Interspecies conflict. There you go. So, so apparently none of the gorilla men, they like Tarzan. Well, and the, he's getting excluded the, from the everything. The one gorilla man doesn't like... Oh, no, you mean his the friends? Little, the little kids, they oh, don't his... like him either. I just think they, they find him probably annoying. Because you know how kids are. You know, it's just like, yeah. oh, he's the nerdy kid. Like, we don't want to hang out with him. I don't think No, they he's the him. white kid. He's the nerdy white kid. We don't want to hang out with him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> wait, let's... You refer to him as the white kid. Uh-huh. God. Are you considering <laughs> the gorillas to be... This is not the right time. <laughs> Rich, not the right time. <laughs> the hairy kids. Yeah. Because that's what. That's the opposite of white is hairy. <laughs> yeah, because the other guys they have hair, so you don't see their uh, the white skin color or whatever skin color it may be. Yep. So anyway, yeah. So the other mm, now I feel bad calling them by their. I mean, stop name. comparing them to just the gorillas. <laughs> the gorillas, man. Just call them gorillas. Okay. So what are you doing? <laughs> so the gorillas, they're like they don't want to hang out with Tarzan, and they say, "You know what, Tarzan? Let's actually give." You- actually, do they even call him Tarzan? No, I don't think anyone actually. It doesn't matter. All that matters is Turk is saying, "Hey, bud, if you want to hang out with us, what you got to do is get a hair from a gorilla." No hair from a monkey. Uh, or I'm elephant, sorry, elephant, uh, elephant. Uh, elephant. My sorry, I, I said gorilla too many times. Now it's in my brain. Yeah, get that out of there. Gotta get no, I'm going to keep that in there before I end up like you. Dude, I'm not doing anything. Yeah, right. Let's continue. <laughs> Got to get a half of an elephant. Yeah. And he and goes, then... okay. Because uh, she was hoping it would scare uh, scare him off. But uh, no, nah, he's determined to hang out with him. Tarzan's got yeah. balls. Yeah, I'd hope so. Yeah, so he goes to the elephant hole. And he just has a good time playing with the elephants. And then he gets a hair from one of them. And then he causes a stampede like well, the one in Lion King. But he also, uh, and we also introduced to uh, the elephant, the little elephant. What's his What's his name? Not Newman? important. What'd you say? Newman. Newman. Yeah. Oh, is that? Oh, my God. Newman, oh, yeah. Newman does voice him. Yeah. I, don't, uh, I can't remember his name. But something Newman with a T. Works. It was uh, Tarzan. No. Tur- <laughs> Turk. No. It's also, yeah, they're all T's. Wayne Knight? Sure. Wayne Knight. Oh, Knight ends with a T. I guess that's why. Or something confused. like that. I don't know. Is he alive? I is he dead? So. He is I alive. We already discussed this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think he could be dead. I thought I heard that he was dead. The li- we just He's alive. The man Guys, is alive. Like just rest in peace to Wayne Knight. His name is Tontor. What? I'm pretty sure his name is Wayne Knight. Is that his name, though? Wayne Knight? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I just wanted to be sure. But okay, Tontor, a.k.a. Wayne. We're just going to call him Newman, okay? Yeah, we're going to call him Newman. What did you Google for? I wanted to know. <laughs> he comes up again, but it's not like we're going to really draw. No, we're not going to say Tontor. Everyone's going, oh, yeah, the elephant. It's Newman. Yeah. yeah. Newman the elephant. All right. Yeah. And you confirmed he's alive? He is alive. Okay. See, now you just you just dated the podcast again. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Greg, if only you said he is alive dead. as of July 2020. <laughs> yeah, now you literally dated it's the podcast. June! It's June. June. <laughs> Yo, I'm, wait, I'm giving I'm giving him a wait, month. Wait, wait, I love you, buddy. If you're listening to this, please die. You make Greg wrong. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Two weeks, three weeks. Get your get your your things in order, and then just drop dead, please. It'll be funny. 
I mean, he doesn't just have to drop dead. Like, maybe, you know. Like, if, okay, if one of us, like, started one of those, like, Twitter rumors saying that he's dead. And, like, if we made sure that he and his manager just didn't say anything. Oh, yeah. We have to make sure he's cool with being dead. Yeah, yeah. Like, he doesn't have to die. He just has to. Well, we also have to deal with TMZ. How do we get them to keep quiet? We have to give them a body, right? You pay him off. We have to give him a body. You can afford TMZ to pay doesn't off TMZ. even need proof. What do you have, that Phil Collins money? <laughs> How many tragedies have you sang about? Me or Craig? <laughs> Craig, he's the one who wants to pay him off. Oh, okay. I, I know you. You're no, just aspiring. Rich can pay him off. He's got money. <laughs> he's I mean, too busy dealing with Newman and his whatever. Yeah. Where were whatever. we? We were talking about the elephant, and Tarzan created an elephant stampede like the Lion King stampede when Scar accidentally, like, started that with his hyena buddies. Yes, um, Tarzan also planned to kill everyone else's family, so he feels no, no, it was less an alone. It was an accident. I just wanted to bring up the parallel. No, you said it was just like Scar. Yeah, so, again, planned it. Well, Wanted to kill everyone else's family. It's fine. Well, Kerchek, he was really mad at the fact because he could have killed someone, just like Scar accidentally killed someone in that. He didn't accidentally kill anybody. Yeah, neither did Tarzan, apparently. It's all planned. Well, I, I don't know about planned. It was an accident. A planned accident. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's the best way to do it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you plan it. But he got the hair, but everyone hates him now. And especially Kerchek. So, Kerchek, is that his father? We talked about the silverback? Yeah. It's supposed to be Tarzan, Tarzan's adopted father, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, He's well, not he, a fan of Tarzan. But he never, yeah, he has yeah. never liked him since Says, I'm the going to let you keep this baby, but he's not my son. Yeah, and then he's also like, um, I don't care how many elephant hairs you grab, because you'll never be my son. Herpa derpa derpa do. It's his catchphrase. You gotta include it. Herpa derpa derpa do. Thank you. Yeah, so Ma just tries to say, like, hey, like, you know, don't worry about what Kerchek says. He's just blind and he can't see that we're the same. We all have two hands, two eyes, one heart, and we all love each other, except Kerchek. And uh, maybe one day he'll see things our way, but don't worry about him for now. Oh, don't forget the heartbeat. The heartbeat is important. Oh, yeah, the heartbeat, too. He said that. He said heart. Yeah, I said heart. You know, everyone's got a heart, 60 beats oh, per you minute. you really got to draw attention to it like they do. Um, I, th- I think they draw attention more to the hands, but... No, the hands is what starts it off, but then it's all like, all right, Tarzan, you see this? This is your heart. Come feel mine. And whenever you see a lady, you got to just stick your head right in there, motorboat them. That's how you hear the heartbeat. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, 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 because that's important yeah. later on. That's, that's why I'm bringing it up. <laughs> that's like, why I, I want to, like, I want to I push it in there. You think he was just like a pervert like you? Well, uh, no, no, I don't know. I didn't know what was going on there. That's the point of that scene. But this is where I have a question for you guys. Well, I don't really have a question, but in my notes, I wrote, I'm on hashtag team Kerchek. Why? You hate people different than you. It's not a surprise. Oh, God. No, because he's a different species. Like, I don't oh, know. Oh, my God. Rich. Uh, no, you didn't realize they were a different species, apparently, until we brought it up in this podcast. And your your frame of reference from when you're watching this thing, uh, you've made it very obvious. I don't know if this okay. is the right okay. time to post this, <laughs> this podcast. Is, this is like... <laughs> this is not good. Okay. Okay. There was like a one show. I forget what it was. My best friend's a monkey or something like that. My gym it's partner like, is a monkey, of course. Yeah. So, okay, Craig. Since Still you very fight strongly with race relations in that one. No, it's species relations. Because, <sighs> Craig, let's say your parents decided to adopt a monkey. Are you going to, like, sit him down at the dinner table and say, hey, you're one of us, buddy? I mean, if it eats... it's it, Yeah. yeah. It depends it's, how well-behaved the monkey is. Yeah, I guess it's... A, it's I mean, are we calling the monkey a pet or my brother? Both. I mean, regardless, You've I think... you got a, some I, things to work out there. <laughs> I think I think a pet is part of the family, personally. Yes, agreed, Craig. I mean, look, you don't have the dog sit at the table because the dog's going to make a mess. Yeah. But it's still part of the family and you love it, you know. In fact, oh, he's going to make a mess at the table. Are you going to let him sit there with you? So then I guess not. But 
it doesn't doesn't mean I love him any Thank less. Thank you for proving my point. What was your what point? Was your point? Hold on. Crick, wait, what was your point? Mine? Yeah. That Craig wouldn't be on the opposite of Team Kerchak. I, I, it sounds like he said no. He is the opposite of Team Kerchak because he just said it's part of the family. Unlike Kerchak, who's like, this is no, not no, fine. This Craig is nothing. This is nothing to me. Craig doesn't want him to sit at the dinner table. No, that's the problem. Uh, look, Craig just said if it was well behaved and wouldn't make a mess. Absolutely, buddy. If I had a fucking little brother. Who would always, at the dinner table, he'd throw his fucking slop everywhere. Guess what? That fucker's eating out of a bowl on the floor, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, Tarzan basically is that little brother. The thing is... Yeah, until he learns how to eat properly, he can sit on the damn floor. Yeah, and So he's thank not you learning. for proving my point. Get the hell out of here, Richard. And he's not learning, so that's why I'm Team Kerchak. Because Kerchak is You're not... Basically- Kerchak is, is solely basing this on the way Tarzan looks. He did that from the start. No, he's not. How he's behaving, too. Because he did what? Because, okay, because Tarzan caused the elephant stampede. And later okay, on before in the that, movie, later and on before in the movie, that, and before that, what did Tarzan do? Mm, nothing. As far as we know, nothing. Exactly. This he is tried this is to straight fill up the prejudice. Shoes. No, no, no. He tried to fill the shoes of the baby monkey. He didn't try he to do anything. Try to, he was a baby. He was a bud. baby. He's a and reminder. Also, how? Of How the is that a son bad thing? that How Kerchak is that a bad thing? lost, not brings, even kind of. <laughs> it brings too much pain, too many memories. They've not even, not they even, straight not up even said, kind of. They straight up said in the in the movie, he said he'll never be a, a replacement. You know, yeah. And, and the she, mother I didn't agrees. Hear and the mother agrees. Exactly. No fucking shit. The mother knows you didn't hear he's it. not a replacement, but she still loves him. She well, cares okay. for him like she's his look, own. Look, uh, look, 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 look. Richard is ignorant, much like Kerchak. We already discussed this. Of course, he's on Team Kerchak. Yeah. It's the it's the team ignorance, bud. It's yeah, f- fair enough. Like I didn't I didn't hear whatever line you said, whatever line you quoted. You didn't so, hear anything, bud. So that's why we had let's just say, let's just put I'm this sorry. out right here right now. The thoughts and views expressed by Dunst Number One are not the same. Not shared the, by the other not, two. Not dunces. shared by the other two Dunces. We might be morons, but we're not ignorant bigots. No. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we all come together in the end. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I can go nothing with you, buddy. <laughs> well, well, we'll get to that, okay? Waiting for confirmation. No, we'll continue the movie. Okay. I'm so, standing over here with Craig. <laughs> we're staying as far away from this as we could possibly yep. can. You're on the line of the sand right there. You, don't, you stay on that side. So we have the Son of Man song, which is oh, an a great okay, song. Yeah. And it's Oh, you're about to say okay. It's okay. You can say it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. It's a good one. It is a good one. A- he's crazy. <laughs> so he's fine. He can say it's okay. That's fine. It's not for everyone. I, I think it's great. I Phil Collins really freaking belts it with this oh, one. It's, it's so fantastic. It's, it's, this song is so high energy. I love it. Oh, it's incredible. And this is the, and they, and, it fits and, it perfectly. And, with he, him and fucking, he's doing the jungle oh, surfing. It's oh, great. Oh my god. Oh. Which is mortifying to me because I can't imagine. Like, what is worse than rubbing like tree bark on your feet at such a high <laughs> speed? I don't know. But I, it, it, he's got crazy calluses. Cool. He's got it's cool. Oh my crazy god. Crazy calluses. Like, it's it's like. <laughs> I don't even know what's got to be down there. It's got to be like a, a, it's, a couple inches it's of got that a, yeah, skin. <laughs> thick, Honestly. Thick. He's got... Thick. He can't fit into shoes. No. I mean, <laughs> we, why would he? Why would he? He doesn't need like them anymore. He's got like three or four solid inches soul. of it's, just... Oh, man. It's got to be mortifying. He looks I don't know. Like, he looks like he's wearing high heels. I can't wait for the live, <laughs> the live action's going to be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> How they capture that. Wait, they did that in George of the Jungle, though. Yeah, but that was a silly, like, fun time movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, not all of it. Yeah, all no, of it. It, it was, was just... all of it. Yeah, they wanted it to be anyway. Oh, okay. I mean, it was fun for someone, I guess. <laughs> so, okay. Um, I have a question. What's up, bud? So this... Nope, stay on that side of the line. Okay, continue. So the Son of Man song... Yeah. I think this is where he transitions, right? Yes. Like, from son, son to man. Man, oh man. Yeah, I know, Craig, right? I've been trying not to do that. That's, that's so freaking good. Time. It's so good. <laughs> oh. But yeah, he transitions from son to man. 
And he grows up and he starts fighting leopards in the Colosseum. And I got is confused. Is this the Kingdom Hearts this. version? Is that what happens to the king in Kingdom Hearts? Does he fight a leopard in the Colosseum? I mean, no, in his in his defense, it's not like an established Colosseum, but what he does is fight off the leopard. All the gorillas kind of surround him and start cheering as if they are. They like make a makeshift Colosseum all of a sudden. And it was really jarring for me too. Because <laughs> it's, like, it's a, oh, this is the gorilla fight bit we keep from these just this occasion. It's the big open circle arena yeah. with all the gorillas looking down from above. It's, it's very conveniently placed. <laughs> yeah, and somehow Tarzan kills the leopard, but I don't know how. And then he, he had just a spear starts, tip. Like, he had a he made a spear, yeah, and a, and he, then the spear like, breaks, and he chases after the tip, and then him and the the leopard fall into a hole where I imagine he starts repeatedly stabbing it until it dies. You don't see that part. He just comes up with a limp leopard. Yeah, this is what sucks about the movie. It sucks because like <laughs> not enough they don't blood. they're not clear enough that things die in the movie. They don't They, they are yeah. so clear Rich, that things die in this movie without actually showing them. Unless and this Richard probably C. has Gore. the most gruesome death in a Disney movie. <laughs> unless Rich sees Gore, he no they don't it die. It doesn't register with him. He's just clueless. <laughs> Which I guess is the intent for the film, is that you don't actually want the children to be traumatized. You don't actually show them. You know, hopefully they just kind of carry on. The parents can explain in the car what happened to the leopard and everyone else in this movie. <laughs> I needed someone to explain that for me. Yeah, I know. We got to call your parents up. But In fact, you should call them up ever after every movie from now on. Have them talk to you about this. Before <laughs> or after the podcast? Oh, before, obviously. Okay. But... Okay, so, like, Tarzan came back up, and when he was holding, like, the leopard body over his head, I was just yeah. waiting for that thing to, like, you know, just kind of open its eyes. Yeah, but, I, but because it didn't do that, that's how you know it's dead. Well, I didn't know maybe it was unconscious. No. No, he killed that thing. Yeah. It was just a limp dead body. Yeah. Once again, they didn't make it clear, but... No, they made it pretty clear <laughs> for the adults. Nothing was clear. But let's continue because now we have some gunshots in the forest and we have some stuck up Englishman with a nice mustache and a machete and he's cutting his way through the jungle and he has buddies, uh, Clayton and uh, his daughter. Clayton is the, uh, Clayton's is the, man. the guy with the mustache or and the, the and nice the machete. one, I guess. Yeah, and the machete. And the professor. The professor and, his, and the professor's daughter. He's got to have a name, but I'm... Uh, he does. Thinking. I don't... He says it Archibald. once. Archibald. Mm. Yeah. Archibald. They might be Archibald. But they really just call him the professor. Or daddy. Okay, professor. Daddy and professor, yeah. I mean, respectful. I'll call him daddy. You call him daddy. Uh, and Jane, of course, his daughter. And Jane. Yes. With, uh, oh boy. She's got, like, she got, like, back shelf despair, you know? She got, What's she got that? some junk in that trunk. Whoa, I didn't notice that. Oh my god, you can, like, sit on her and just... But she got like that, that like that Princess Peach <laughs> thing going on with the dress. She got, oh my god, she should weaponize that thing. You just gotta weaponize that thing. It's it's crazy. I gotta watch this movie. You should. You should watch. Absolutely watch this movie. More for just than just Jane's derriere. There's so much more to see in this movie and appreciate. Well, I saw most of it, so yeah. Okay. Debatable. It's- so Jane, she decides to have wacky adventures in the forest, and then Tarzan comes and tries to help her yeah, out. Yes, all, all on her own fruition. She said, now is the time for to me to get ripped to shreds by a group of baboons. Yeah, so Tarzan comes, and they have a good time together. Like, Tarzan saves her, and then this is important. Like, this is probably, like, maybe, like, the catalyst, but this is is the first time that Tarzan has ever seen another human being. Well, technically, it was uh, when he saw What's-His-Face. What? Uh, Who? He did see Clayton. Clayton you know, he did yeah. see all three of them together, but this is the first time he really examined them and kind yeah. of makes the connection. Wait, did he? Yeah, he yes. saw Clayton. He was hanging out with the three of them. They were just too blind to see him. Oh, I guess I missed that. He, like, he like hangs out from a vine and gives Clayton a big old sniff. It's fun. It's a fun oh. scene. Okay. Yeah, I missed that. Okay. Yeah, I, I know no shit. But okay. So he meets Jane, and they end up having a good time together. Like, oh, uh, meet Tarzan, you, Jane, uh, have time fun to together. Time to motorboat you. 
whatever that means. Craig? That's where you get all up in her bosom. And you go. There you go. Thank you. Like, like boss ass. Did he do that? Yeah. And then he and then he grabs her head and makes her motorboat to him. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. It, it is true, Craig. That is what happens. Yeah. Without sexual oh, intent, and, of course. But and, oh no, he doesn't. He doesn't know what sex is because he doesn't know what's going that's on. That's why the other scene too is where she he grabs her feet and he's like pulling on her toes and she's well, that tickles, that tickles, that tickles, and then he slowly makes his way up her dress and she just fucking drops him. What does drop him mean? Uh, she kicks him in the head and he falls down. Oh, okay. So this is pretty much going straight into the end of the movie now. Okay. Yeah. So, no, we talked about enough of this movie. I think we got the gist of it. Yeah, the gorillas they go to the human camp. They sing in song and make a mess. And uh, yeah, we're song of the movie. Yeah, and this is where I was all like, I think Phil Collins did this song, but I don't know. No, he did, but I mean, this wasn't like this is the, the least memorable one, obviously. Everybody, Babu. So it's just Rosie O'Donnell doing that for like five. It minutes. just reminds me of that song from the Jungle Book, and I keep for I can't even think. It's the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Yeah, I thought it was going to go into that. Then I realized it wasn't that movie. No. Very similar. So, I guess Jane and Tarzan, they split up when Jane's humans come. And she's super excited, though. She was all like, I found a gorilla man, and he's going to help me find gorillas. It's going to be great. And Tarzan goes back to his people, and he's all like, yo, well, Kirk, no, check. They, they, they see what? the gorillas at the camp. Eh, tomato, tomato. No, that's exactly what happens. They're, they're, they destroyed the camp. Out comes Tarzan and uh, and Jane, and then back comes, uh, K- what what's his face, and the professor? Clayton and the professor. And they all see the gorillas. They're all there. Uh, you're wrong. Right? Okay, so, no, you're wrong. No. So what happens is the gorillas are tearing up the place. Tarzan comes by. He's happy to see him. Uh, big silverback boy, Turka Turka Lurka. Oh, yeah, and then they escape. And comes that... in and goes, get the hell out of here! Oh, yeah, so and they but, all but, leave. Jane, but Jane sees them. Yes, Jane sees them, because yeah. Jane's, you know, har- par- partying with them. Yes, yeah, okay. That's yeah. what happened. You're right. And then they ask, what's happening here? And Jane's all like, she... It's a fun little scene. They where think she's crazy. Like, yeah, yeah. Explain what's happening because it's so much. She's overwhelmed. She's excited. She's scared. She's gone through a lot of emotions. Very well done. And eventually, they learn of Tarzan because he comes back, and she goes, "See, Tarzan exists. I'm not crazy." Also, this is kind of blow. This is I know suspension of disbelief. How the hell does Tarzan first know how to say his own name? I there's a Makes lot no of suspension sense. of disbelief. Makes no in this sense. Movie. <laughs> There's one specific one I'll bring up later that really got Please me. Please do. Like, they could have easily had someone else named Tarzan. It's not that big of a deal, but they chose... No, the gorillas named him Tarzan, and he learned how to pronounce it in the human language. Yeah, like, the thing is, the movie leaves a lot to your own imagination. Like, Well, I mean, it's also near impossible for a man to learn the English language as an adult, um, having no sense of it at all, of any language at all. Um, it's with, uh, within a sh- well, that short of a period of time. Learned, I will say that short of a period of time. But we, I mean, we've taught the gorilla sign language, buddy. It's not. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. They could probably yeah. do learn. I bet, some. I bet he could. I get, he wouldn't have as, as firm of a grasp as Tarzan does. As they made him again, they they did that really well. Weird too, but, uh, you know. But they need to do it to, to progress the story, and you know. I, but he could He didn't have to have. He didn't have to be as eloquent as they made him. <laughs> Craig, it's a cartoon movie. It's fictional. I understand that. Yeah. What's yeah. the problem? It could have been handled better. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, maybe if they went through the seasons, okay. Would you be happier then? Well, they were on the island for very long, so or, no. uh, not, or wherever, not the island, in Africa. Do we know how long they were there for? I mean, the moment we see them, they're very worried about the boat coming at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't know that for sure. Like, who I knows mean, when we the do. They said that they the boat could be here there any, for like any a moment. couple weeks at most. You know, at most, at most, a couple weeks. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Because, like, when you're being assimilated into a culture, like you have to live the culture. He could learn, I'm sure. So, let's go back to the movie because we're basically done. We're shotgunning this. Okay, load up, boys. So. 
Tarzan gets assimilated, and we have a song, Strangers Like Me, I think. Another fantastic tune. Yeah, it's pretty great. I didn't write if I liked it or not, but it shows Tarzan and Jane having a good time together in the jungle. And she's loving it. She wants to live there forever. But she, because Tar- sho- he's showing her uh, his side, and she's showing her her side, and it's 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 she's great. showing him. Yeah, it's fine. That's what I just said. Oh, you did say it wrong, but it doesn't uh, matter. You misspoke. I understand that. The people know what you meant. Rich is just being a jerk. He has so little Curl that he can correct people on. Me. He has so little he can correct people on. He has to. He has to latch onto every little aspect, every little misspoken word. It's all he has. It's kind I of even sad. misspoke by saying sewing instead of showing. Yeah, I know. It's fine. We, we let you go. It's fine. Okay. People Once, get what you mean. Okay, Talking okay, is hard. Okay. And Tar- except for Tarzan, he mastered it in, a <laughs> in the week. fucking hour. Yeah, honestly. It's ridiculous. But it doesn't matter. Well, he wasn't as good as me at talking. Like he, I, I kinda... would say he was better than you. You made it. You implied it. Buddy, how long have you been speaking the king's know. English? A few years. A few years. Yeah, Tarzan. You hear this guy. You hear this guy. A few years. Even a few years. Can you years. imagine Tarzan in a few years? He's probably writing his own freaking dictionary. He's writing his thesis. <laughs> yeah, right? Fine. Okay. He probably whatever. reinvented the English language by that point. It's insane. You guys are doing it wrong this whole time. Okay, fine. Tarzan's a he's, fucking genius. He's teaching us. Seems like it. I mean, he is a prince. We gotta remember that. <laughs> You're right. I forgot. Yeah. Like, because the movie doesn't even make mention of that at all. No. But... Well, again, it, it, well, they they imp- they imply. Yeah. Okay. So, all the humans, they're getting ready to go back home soon. And Jane, she's super sad because she never got to see the gorillas. And Clayton, too. He wanted to see them, too. And... So, at this point, Tarzan's like, sorry, I can't show you the gorillas because Kerchak doesn't want me to show you where all of us live. Our house is messy or something. Um, So, maybe another time. But Clayton, he's all like, yo, Jane's going to be leaving and you know what? Maybe she wouldn't leave if we had all the gorillas to show her. You still got a problem, Craig? I was going to say, did we skip the part where he sees his uh, house? That's later, I think. Is that after this? Yeah, that is later. That's, That's... My bad. Oh my god, if only you had notes too. That's fine. He's doing his best. That doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter if he sees his house. It does. I mean, it does lead to his decision. Yeah. Later. Oh yeah, that's where he gets his fancy clothes. Yes. But okay. So anyway, um, Tarzan, he actually decides that yes, he will show the humans the gorillas. And the gorillas get super pissed about it. Because, I don't know. Danger. Uh, no, there was no danger at this point. But there's the, the the possibility of danger. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess. Yeah. There could be. Yeah. So, yeah. The humans see the gorillas, and they're super excited, but Kerchak, he's pissed. But it's not his fault, because Tarzan didn't know, uh, like, anything, really. I don't know. I don't know. Tarzan got bamboozled. Yeah, Pretty turns much, out Clayton's yeah. a bad guy, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Did we know that at this point? Oh, it was pretty very obvious. I mean, you see this guy going, Africa was made for me! Ha <laughs> ha! And he shoots everything in sight. <laughs> I think it's abundantly clear he's not the nicest person. And he's very shifty-eyed. And he has moments with, with pirate-looking men in the background that implies, Hey, maybe this guy's up to something! <laughs> I Is this master know. plan in place yet? <laughs> wait, no, wait, wait, but... wait, wait. <laughs> what? Wait. When do you see the pirates? Oh my god. When they're rap- when they're packing up this stuff. You see how they're very forcefully packing oh. up this stuff? And then Clayton oh, goes, Alright, boys, we gotta change the plan. Tarzan is here. Let me deal with him. <laughs> and he twirls his little pencil thin mustache. I got so confused because I didn't think that you even saw the pirates until they get no, on the No, you boat. see him earlier. You see him helping, quote unquote, pack up the ship. Oh my god. Uh, if, you just wa- if, if you just like turned your head you just, and watched the no, movie. Yeah, like, you just watched it. It's right you know, there. It's not. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't be so confused. Like, like they were in the background though, right? Like far in the back? Or no! no! They, they were packing <laughs> everything up. They you, you they show them rolling barrels and grabbing things and 
<laughs> like, this this show, this movie isn't really subtle about anything. Like, even, like, you guys saw the, you know, the Mrs. Potts reference. I, of course, I, I mean, yeah. Richard probably doesn't. They showed it I twice. <laughs> they, they show it twice! First by itself, like, really zoomed in. Like, hey, guys, do you get a load of this? <laughs> yeah. You get it? We're a Disney movie. <laughs> I miss both. And then of they these. have Rosie O'Donnell banging on it, which would have been a better reference if they just showed Rosie banging on them, because yeah, you know it's it's subtle, it's there. It's enough. Whoa! Look at this shit. <laughs> God damn it, dude! Yeah, they, 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 this movie had nothing, no subtlety whatsoever. <laughs> they might have. It is subtle. It's not. It, you can't even have a scene without Phil Collins singing exactly about what's going on. <laughs> It's a great movie, but it, it, it doesn't, it, you know, it spells it out for you, which is fine. It's a kid's movie. I get it. I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> but you pretending it like it's not, and that's when there's an issue. <laughs> it didn't spell out a lot of things for me, like... Uh, yeah, because you don't watch it. <laughs> I did watch it. Like, okay. Like, in the beginning, with the parents again. Like, I saw the gun on the floor, and, you know... Oh, my God. No, like, but then, and then they said, well, if that's too vague for you, let's have the gorilla mama tell you exactly what happened. <laughs> they also God show the it. two dead bodies there, like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they showed the dead bodies under, and like, a coroner's, like, There was also, like, something. footprints. They showed the footprints. Yeah. Look, it doesn't matter, because the gorilla mama spells it out. There's no mystery here. <laughs> There was a mystery for me that I had to Even discover. if you didn't put the clues, they showed you together. <laughs> she comes in at the end and tells you exactly how the murder was done. She murders, she wrote the whole damn thing. Whatever. Fine. Okay. Let's finish the movie. <laughs> I would love nothing more. So after Kerchak is pissed, the mom, she decides to tell Tarzan the truth about his origin. And she shows him the treehouse that he used to live in. And in the treehouse, um, I guess that he just looks through all of his old things and he wears his old suit and something. And he kind of decides like, yeah, I was supposed to be a human boy all along. So I'm going to go with the humans on the ship and leave forever. But he also says that he'll, she'll always be his mother. No matter what. Oh, and I miss cry. that. And, and I'm crying. I'm still crying. Yeah. I mean, like I'll be honest. I, don't, I barely stopped crying because as soon as I, I started to recover... I, it it hit me again. Yeah, but Abadi Papu really hits me in the heart too. Yeah, that's what I was. Re- <laughs> that's a recovering portion. I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, it's it. I was recovering. That would have been not recovering. Just sobered me right the hell up. <laughs> How did I feel anything about anything in this movie? <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah, thanks, Rosie O'Donnell. It was weird that Rosie. There was a period where Rosie O'Donnell was freaking everywhere. Thanks to Nickelodeon, I, I am gonna blame. Yeah, she was the Kids Choice Awards. I mean, she Wild. had a sh- she had a show. Yeah, is I'm, Harriet the Spy? Remember that? She was all over that one. My mom used no, to. No, she didn't star it? in that, did she? She basically did. I mean, she couldn't be Harriet, but she had to be Harriet's caretaker and watch her take a bath or whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna keep going with the movie because I just. What happened to Rosie O'Donnell? She do something bad. She got called a pig or something by the president. Uh, okay. Well. <laughs> I don't know, Craig. Wow, and I think that kind of killed her career or something. I don't think I don't know. that is. I know yeah, I don't. I'm, I don't pretty I, sure I'm pretty sure Donald Trump calling somebody a pig yeah. is not going to ruin their career. In fact, it might improve. Might it. help if anything. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen her around ever since then. And yet, I, I don't think I saw her around, like, even years Rich, before that. The, yeah, before yeah, that. Yeah, I, I was going to say. I no idea. The man's been a president for four years. I don't like, think she was canceled, I assume, is what Craig is getting at. That's what, I'm, I'm just curious what happened yeah. to her. I think she, she just stopped. She was good. She had all that Kid's Choice Award money. What else you gotta yeah. do, right? And then John Cena started hosting. I don't see it. Do you think this movie ruined her career? No. No. This was in, like, the middle of her career. Yeah. Oh. What'd she do after? That's what we were... I was questioning. 10,000 more and, Kid's Choice Awards. And, and you said that Donald Trump called her a pig, and that ruined her career. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We don't need a recap of the recap. We're good. <laughs> I kind of do. Well, yeah, because you don't pay attention. You're probably playing WoW right this second. No, I'm not. I'm looking okay. at my notes. Oh, good, so, good job. So Tarzan gets dressed up in his old clothes, and then he goes to board Not his pirate. old clothes. His old clothes are <laughs> for babies. Probably his father's old clothes. 
Well, they didn't make that they clear. They could be very progressive. They didn't make that clear. <laughs> yes, when they went on this trip, his parents said, let's pack up a full-grown adult size suit. We don't know how long this three-hour tour would take us. Well, I don't... Whatever. Okay, he picked up some clothes that belong... Family clothes, heirlooms. So... <laughs> I mean, they could be heirlooms or most likely hand-me-downs for the father. I... I mean, they're like the same thing, though. Are they? Yeah, they start with H. So does hamster. Is hamster the same thing? <laughs> no, now you're just taking my words out of context. I'm not. This, these are the context you've given them to me. I'm just sending them back to you. Okay, and fine. You have to eat the nonsense. Eat your bowl of nonsense, buddy. Whatever. Okay, he's in his suit, and now he's allowed to board the ship and go to England with all of his friends. The human friends, not the uh, gorilla friends. Because he's leaving the gorillas forever. So they board the pirate ship and they get locked up because they didn't know that they were pirates. And I didn't know that he was walking into a pirate ship either. But Not a pirate ship, a regular ship that's being shanghaied. Wait, what? They yeah. took over. You saw all the crew people also being held captive. Oh. Yeah, they made it abundantly clear who was the crew people on the ship and who were the people Clayton brought with them. I thought that he brought everyone. Like I thought he was like the travel arranger. No. He was probably he was probably hired by Jane and the professor to protect them and That's he had exactly other plans. Happens. Yes. I don't know. I don't know how you pick up on this stuff. Because they spell it out we're for you. Freaking adults watching a kid's movie it we doesn't can doesn't even matter that, that spells like, it I out for like, you. I feel like if you're like above the age of nine, you'd get this. It's I, f- I feel that this movie is a lot harder than the other ones we've watched. And I don't know why. Because you were, I think you're playing more well than you normally do. I would be my guess. I don't know. So okay, they walk into a trap, and then all the human boys they get locked up, and we learn that uh, Clayton he just wants to sell the gorillas. So they're gonna go get the gorillas and put them all in the cages. But that's when Newman, Rosie O'Donnell, and I guess maybe some other one. I don't know. No, just uh, they Newman all- and Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah, they come onto the ship to help all their human friends out. And they now, do. And this is the w- my biggest suspension of disbelief. <laughs> this, I, I How the it. fuck did that elephant get up on the ship? <laughs> they show so him convenient. They just show them he jumps in the water, they go after the ship. The ship is in the you know, pretty far out at this point, right? It's Yes and in the I mean, next, he swam there. He swam there, swim. fine. He That's could swim fine. there. But then the next thing you know, you see him climbing up on the top and then but you see him all the way at the top of the <laughs> ship. How the <laughs> fuck did he get up there? It's so good. You can't climb a ship. People can't climb a ship. There's nothing to grab onto. But this elephant with suction cup legs, I guess, climbed up the ship. He just does it. It's good. Unbelievable. So I mean. <laughs> They don't even try to explain it, is my favorite part. They don't try to explain a lot of things. No, they explain everything. They they spoon feed everything in this movie, except for the elephant getting on the ship. They didn't want to think about it. They just made it happen. I mean, there could have been a couple of things, like maybe a boat hanging off the side with some yeah. kind of thing that they pulled themselves up. Yeah, Done. literally anything. But no, no they climbed it. <laughs> they he just, just climbed climbs it. the side of a ship. <laughs> I like when they start climbing that the ship, it just kind of starts going sideways like it's going to sink. Oh, the best part about that scene is what they're, when they're showing the ship go sideways, it's the old man putting his head up up on the side of the ship. And he goes, ooh, don't know my own strength. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a good scene. Oh. Uh. And then, they, and then they show you the elephant then, getting yeah, then you see finished the elephant climbing climb, the finished. side of the ship. Just finishing his climb. They, they, yeah. they, they had no idea how to draw it. <laughs> we know what happens. We just don't know how. Yeah. So the jungle friends, they go help all the human boys get out. And then they have to go help all the gorillas. So they go to the gorilla haven or whatever it's called. And I don't know. They have an epic confrontation with uh, Clayton. Well, the, the, the pirates capture a lot of the gorillas, and yeah, then Tar- Tarzan gets out, and yeah, then there's the epic confrontation, and uh... 
And Kerchak and Clayton, they face each other head to head. And Kerchak's like, you're not going to get us, Clayton. And then Clayton takes his shotgun and pow, he just shoots Clayton like straight in the, wait, Kerchak, straight in the face. He doesn't shoot him in the face. Yes, he does. No, he would have. No, no, he he would no longer have a face. He shot him like in the chest. They show his face later. Yeah. Okay. Well, shoots him straight in the body. We're off camera so the kids don't have to see the carnage. Yeah. A lot of death in this one, guys. It is. The, so much the, yeah, death in the this one. The next one is really crazy. <laughs> this is so... <laughs> I can't believe this is how they chose to end this man! It, it's nuts. Wait, what? Clayton's death is so horrifying. He died? Oh, oh yes! my god. So, I know, so, he's being dumb. He's being No, 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 I didn't I, know I, he I refuse, died. I refuse to acknowledge you. Please, no, I thought that please they tell fight, and tell, then he... Please tell us what happens. What happens to the fight? Um, I think that Tarzan just kind of scared him away and he fell from some trees. No. No. He's No, Clayton's in the vines struggling, trying to cut himself free. There was a vine after, wrapped after around After a fight, his though. Neck. They're, they're gotten yeah, to a fight. Yeah, after the fight, of course. And he ends up in oh. the vines. And he's str- yeah, now he's stuck and he's struggling to get free and he's cutting the vines free. And Tarzan notices one of the vines is around his neck. And he's like, no, Clayton, don't do it or whatever. He's telling him. He's basically warning him. I like, think he says, Clayton! <laughs> It's all he, that's all the time he has. It's all he has time for, because he cuts everything but the vine around his neck, and then just drops, and there's a Dude. crack, and there's a crack. and the next and thing they we show see the it. shadow of Clayton hanging, and it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> show him you're on top of trees. He could have fell down the side of a waterfall or something. Anything is better than what you did. Dude, what the fuck? It's so it's brutal. very dark. Oh, I have to go god. back and watch this. You're good, please. It's so it's oh my god. Oh. It's a real dark death. Yeah. Cuz what I had in my notes is that yeah, Kerchak gets shot and then basically Kerchak finally says like, "Hey Tarzan, you're my son." And everyone loves each other in the end. This is after Clayton is is lynched. Yeah, after Oh, oh, I thought God. they just kind of like he went to do his own thing and left. No, he d- he's very dead. Okay, probably still hanging there to th- this to this day. <laughs> well, Clayton's dead, Kerchak's dead, and Jane and her dad like they've seen enough blood for today, so they're gonna go leave and go home. And Tarzan, he's a sad boy, and like I don't want you to go, Jane. And but Jane's all like, you know what? I do have to go. Goodbye. And then, like, as she's leaving on her, like, little passenger boat, her glove, like, flies away into the wind, and then Tarzan catches it, and Jane has to go back to get her glove back, and then she decides to stay there forever with her daddy. No, something ridiculous, even more ridiculous, happens. Yeah. <laughs> what? What happened? <laughs> the, the father goes, Jane, you love this man that you met two seconds ago, probably hung out for a week, throw your rest of your life away and go live with him. And she goes, okay, daddy. <laughs> yeah, and then he also says, eh, "Why not all go too?" Yeah. <laughs> they're, I like, they have a really sweet, wonderful relationship, but they're both insane. <laughs> Wait, did the glove thing happen though? It did yes. happen, but not, not that they went. They didn't go back for it. That would maybe have a little bit of sense to it. It's the father convinces Sarah to go throw her life away she, and live in the she jungle. She loves this man who has has some. <laughs> Who, who, I'll be honest, has a f- pretty good grasp of the English language for someone, you know, at this yeah, point. I and mean, again, probably sort of Runs around genius. in a loincloth and lives with gorillas and says, that's who I want to live with. Yeah, it's... We've known each other again. for a week. <laughs> and time to get married. It's the weird Disney logic, man. And she throws on her own loincloths. And they, they, uh... And she fucks up her feet real bad. Yeah. I got to imagine... She doesn't have the calluses. She no. can't possibly have the calluses yet. And they, uh, yeah. Two worlds, one family. And that's the end of the movie. Yeah. Yeah. Now what do we do? We go home, get on with our lives. Forget all this ever happened. Probably pick up some signs. Oh, me and Craig anyway. You, we know where you stand in all this. Yeah. Wait, what do you, what? I'm just going to drink my water. You guys do the old... What are we doing next week, fellas? Uh, I'm drinking my water. Do the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm asking what we're doing.
I know. That's Craig's cue to step in here. Why do I have to do it? All right, fine. I'm done drinking my water. You happy? Oh, my God. Uh, so I was thinking, we watched a lot of good things recently, right? Can we, we can attest to that? Cheaper by the dozen. Everyone had a good laugh. Star Wars. Tarzan, oh, my God. Star Wars? You're kidding me. These are the classics. Let's step it down a notch. Let's do something something no one's ever heard of. I'm talking decom time, baby. It's been a while. They're returning, boys. What do you say to... What? Hold on. I wrote it down somewhere. I hope you're thinking of something that's going to be easy to follow. I mean, I, I've i never seen it, but... I need stuff spelled out for me. Ah! <laughs> Cadet Kelly. That's it. I knew it started with a C. Or a K. Should be too but, um, difficult for I mean, it's a decom. They're not exactly known for... <laughs> Complex storylines. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> It'll be fine. It's exactly what I need. No, you're no kidding. God damn it, dude. Okay, I'm leaving now. You two talk about whatever you want now. Goodbye, Dunce Number One, signing off. I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Oh, just make, we just gotta like, once again. We have to make sure the views expressed by Dunce Number One are not. Are well, the, I was going to do that at the end. Oh, okay. It's going to be like closing. Okay, so here. edit this part out. <laughs> All right, I'll just no, do your thing. And I'm uh, Craig Stew. Uh, I'm leaving too. And I'm the third one. And once again, I'd like to just really hammer in there. The views expressed by Dunce Number One are. We not talk about the fact that Tarzan definitely orphaned that baby elephant and he just happens to live with gorillas now. Strong son. And smarter than I ever imagined. Then take me with you. You're all I have now, Artie. There's just one very important thing I have to do. Authorities launched a worldwide manhunt for the famous collector. He is suspected to have been behind some of the biggest robberies ever. <laughs>